Welcome, we're into Halifax. We're at Strictly Singles Sports Cars. We have a Halifax Regionals here. We're first place with Sean. He's playing Sound Circus. He's playing Marinza. <laughs> uh, before we get into the deck, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and any shout outs. Uh, so, shout out to Team Sound Circus. Patrick's put me on his channel a couple times now. Um, shout out to Anthony. He came here from uh, all the way across the province with me and put some gas money. Um, shout out to Patrick. He got me some of the cards of this deck a while ago when they first came out. And uh, shout out to uh, Connor and Matt for playtesting with me. What about D-Shifter? Shout out to D-Shifter? Uh, D-Shifter? Fuck D-Shifter. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes D-Shifter no more. <laughs> okay, well, let's get in. Alright, um, so obviously for monster ratios, we just absolutely maxed out. Um, I did have some more tech in the deck, like TTT and like more kind of formatty tech cards, but at the end of the day, every single Marinthus monster that's under level 5, like level 4 and below her, is, is a combo. Like you can end on the gate. And then the gate and recover. Um, so we're going 3 minutes Blue Tang, Foolish, Activity 3, best card, uh, best extender, free uh, Seahorse, free Spring Girl. Three Pascalis. Um, a lot of us are playing like none of the adventure. They're playing two Pascalis. Uh, they're playing like you know two Pascalis, one Pascalis, no Pascalis. I put three. Um, I just really, really wanted to see Marinsa's monster. Um, and then this is just another card. Like if I normal summon this and I use the effect, it baits a Veiler or I get an extra extension. So it makes it so a lot less hard that people hit my uh, my anemone or any of that. Um, and then we're playing the one sleeping maiden. Um, it's just an extra hit off my excavation on my Blue Tang. Uh, it's also, we can banish to attach to your Link 4 to make it live if you don't have your field spell. Um, and it's just generally, generically good cards. Um, there's more Marinsis copies. I got three Sign of Mining. Uh, Sign of Mining's fucking amazing. You just search for Marinsis you want. Like, you know, almost someone gets Gamma, Sign of Mining, grab a Spring Girl, some Spring Girl, get new combo. Um, pretty good. I am playing Desires. Uh, Desires is amazing. I'm only playing one of a lot of, like, my trap, one of my trap, one of my field spell. Um, but Desires just gets you there. Like, you try to do your full combo, you slap Desires on the board, you go in second, you go for more interruptions, you slap Desire on the board. Um, it just gets you more cards. More cards are good. Um, we're going two dive. Uh, we're not going three dive. I don't really want to draw three of it. Um, I did end up wanting like more extension like I have, I'm making sure I get my engine hundred percent like spring girl sign up mining and sleep maiden kind of get you know, they kind of get you there a little bit um, but I didn't want to have two of these in hand not be able to use it so I put in a monster reborn instead um, I can monster reborn my link twos I can monster reborn one of these guys bonus monster toes like it's just really really good generically first and second um, I did the one field spell great cards you gotta play Call by the Graves this format. Um, on top of stopping hand traps, you get to hit tier monsters, you get to hit the uh, chance of Toad. Um, it's amazing. On the hand traps, uh, Gamma's amazing. Gamma's the best card. Uh, this deck hard loses the D-Shifter. My opponent D-Shifters, I lose. Um, unless they have absolutely nothing else. I, I hit D-Shifter, I hit Sprite, I hit Monster, uh, make good. Um, got Ash Blossom, enjoy your spring. If you draw it, there's probably something you hit it with. Uh, Sprite Star is a great card to hit it with. Um, Desires, Stravagans, they're all right. It's kind of a hand read. Uh, Failure, more target negates. Uh, DD Crow, this card's amazing. I love DD Crow. Uh, play DD Crow in your deck. Uh, three Imperm, so I'm at 15 hand traps. And uh, the one moon says Wave. So this is the like the one card destruction you get. You go in Drilling 3, you have... Uh, banish a special summon, link two and one, and then you search this off in one card. So it ends up being really good. Um, extra deck, we're playing two blue slug. Um, you need blue slug and uh, sea angel, but sometimes you only need one, sometimes you need both each turn, and we want to have enough to go off for at least two turns before we start having to recycle and manage resources. So we want a starting turn, recovery turn. Um, same thing with Four Mooney. We only really need to, like, we're not probably not playing like turn five, turn six, and we can kind of recycle. Um, Splash Mage, he's for the. Uh, it's a Cyber Stack. You gotta play the Cyber well, cards. He's not amazing a lot of the time. We just kind of play him because you can do a line that goes like, you make your Link Four with just like the one card. Um, instead of going for the uh, the wave, you're playing games like Eldritch or something, and you don't want the target to gate. Um, this card's amazing, Marble Rock. I didn't love it before this event, but I just use it so much. Sometimes you can't get into Link 4, you just add back resources, add back waves, start like, kind of control looping people. 
Uh, disgusting. Win so many fucking games with this card. Uh, I search my wave, it goes up to 35 when you equip it. Uh, advantage from graveyard, summons back, like, three materials with a link, this summons, and that's before your normal summon. Disgusting. Um, beautiful card. Uh, this, I didn't make that much today. I got hand trapped a lot, and I didn't get to make this a lot. Uh, my match against, like, I had, like, some crazy adventure Eldritch Sun, uh, sun deck that was, like, 3-0, and I ended up taking it out. Obviously, like, spell me a big against this. This card's great. Um, if you go for a line where you don't go field spell, some of the lines are gonna go for dive, and you're gonna try to make Z's, like, trying to make your toads. Um, a lot of time, this is just better to end on an Aqua Argonaut if you can't uh, equip a Link Monster to it. And you just get to banish Standby Phase, try to draw a Hand Trap. If it lives to the next turn, you get to banish, draw again. So, like, if you're doing this plus Toad, you can banish Bahamut Shark, no Ancient Pieces, draw a card. Next turn, banish Toad, no Ancient Pieces, draw a card. It's crazy. Um, XZ's are kind of heavy. I've seen decks playing less. Um, I like the lineup I have here. Uh, Toad and Bahamut Shark, that's main combo. Um, Kragen just pulls games out of nowhere. Anybody playing this deck will tell you Kragen is like the MVP. He pulls games out. If you get a head against a deck like Sprite or anything like that, like they're just trying to stick bodies on the board and this just takes bodies off the board. Absolute best control card. Um, and Abyss Dweller. I've seen people not playing Abyss Dweller. Like, play Abyss Dweller. Like if, you, if you're paying attention to the room and you see Buddy playing to your element, just make Abyss Dweller. Like, yeah, kind of, <laughs> kind of free, kind of free, kind of free. Play Abyss Dweller, but, guys. But he's playing Eldritch and he needs to like banish things from his graveyard during the end phase. Like, and you get ahead, like make Abyss Dweller. You can't, you can't play Eldritch anymore. Like, it just gives you some free matchups. Um, side so deck, I'm playing the card of the format, Dark Ruler. Um, I did have in my main deck, but I really just. A lot of the time when I'm making my big monsters, I'll have like one, two good attacks and beat over cards. Um, I just. I wanted for matchups where Gamma wasn't good, where I think I was going to run into Winda, Flunderies, and turn off the Floodgates. Um, a lot of the time, I just wanted to hit them, slow them down. I didn't want more than one or two monsters on board. I just wanted to like clear out their grind game and then just start mine. Uh, this card's got also a card of the format, Judgment. Um, the one time it came up was game three of round six. Uh, we had six minutes of time, and I decided to put two of these. I used two of these during the game. No! <laughs> Why? We won us the game. Um, we hit with the. Uh, yeah, we hit with this a couple times. Um, and like, I, I did win in time, but after we ran through it, it was gonna win anyway. Like, I was gonna have 100 light points after he got my thing attacked me, then I had like a full turn recovery, and like, it's. It's not as fun in time, this card's nuts. Um, goes and match, play goes and match, you're playing Rinsus. Uh, some people say play in the main. I, I don't care where you play, just play the card. Um, it hits pretty much every deck right now. Uh, it, it's beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, stops you from being Lava Golem, Spear Mode, Kaiju, like, having a great time. Uh, and then I played kind of weird for my last six cards here. Um, I just wanted kind of partial coverage. Lightning Storm hits Flunder, hits back row decks. Um, even when I side it in against like Sprite and Tear sometimes, um, you can hit. Like I know they get the ads off the traps and the field spell, but you really don't want that extra disruption. Uh, Twin Twister, great card. Um, do it in your opponent's turn, do it in your turn. It's, uh, you know, you can get through uh, Floodgates if they activate them and you hit it before it resolves. Uh, you need to play this card. If somebody hits you with a deck dev, you lose. So if they side in deck dev, they draw deck dev, and you don't hand trap them to the point where they can get a 2,000 attack monster on field, uh, all of your Marinsus monsters get deck dev. Goodbye. Uh, so we're playing this and uh, Duster. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I was really happy with its first place turnout. Um, Anything you change? Anything I change. Maybe a Hall of Sea Angel? Yeah, I couldn't find a second Hall of Sea Angel. I could have swore I had one. I hate it. Um, they look, they look really nice next to my, uh, my, my rare gammas and my first head secret ashes, of course. <laughs> well, congratulations on the first place. Alright, have a good one.